Oh. Hi everybody, I'm Paul Courier and I'm running for mayor of San Francisco. I'm here to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually waiting for the concession speeches. And so I keep showing up at these events, waiting for the concessions, but I'm convinced I'm going to win. And uh, people think that this is a uh, chronicle this morning, at least they spelled my name right, and they said I was one of the long shots. There's five of us in the long shots. Heather was a little snarky. Um, there's a thing about community organizing. You know, this, this election is going to be won one vote at a time. It's a it's an old fashioned type of deal. A lot of people think that uh, maybe uh, maybe Ed Lee will will outspend Gavin. There goes five million, and we got another five. They're going to easily spend two million, and wow, there's fifteen million, and I don't even know if I'm going to spend fifty thousand. I don't know if it's that necessary. Uh, we're getting a bus for a uh, for a campaign headquarters, so it will be all over the town, and we're going to you know I I'm from around here. The uh, I have some, <clears throat> we, you know, everybody, you'll hear a lot of kvetching and, and no, a nose bleeding about how, how we don't have any money. And, and what nobody wants to talk about is the organized crime that's going on at City Hall. And uh, we're running a racketeering corrupt influence organization as an enterprise. We've been doing this, uh, breaking federal statutes for decades, and nobody wants to talk about it. My favorite Willie Brown quote is, I've never been indicted yet. And uh, I'd like to change that. And uh, you know, I'm here about I'm about regime change. You know, this is why I'm running for mayor. So you're looking at the future of San Francisco. Uh, it's our kids. It, it's uh, it's not corruption. It, it's not pay for play. And it's not the same old same old democratic politics. You know, the uh, you want a new deal? Wow. Um, in 1919, the state of North Dakota, the people in the state of North Dakota, got tired of having all their family farms foreclosed by John Pierpoint Morgan and John D. Rockefeller Jr. And, uh, and the same robber barons and money trusts that now uh, run uh, J.P. Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs and are thieving from the world are, are committing financial terrorism right here in the United States. Before this election's over, we're going to see real serious financial news about uh, California, probably comparable to what's happened in Greece already. Mm -hmm. and, and this is not make-believe. This is very real. When Belgium's the next country to go on the block and France is after that, don't think the states are going right before the U.S. government. And uh, so where, where's, what's this problem here? The problem is the banks. The problem is the private banking. So I'm, I'm for, just like the people in North Dakota, for setting up a San Francisco Community Bank, the County Bank of San Francisco, owned by our local government. What will this do for us? Nobody has solutions. Everybody has, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Here's a concrete solution. Our community bank will deliver 300 to 500 million dollars of new revenue without taxing anybody, simply by capturing the profits from financial services and keeping it in San Francisco. Since we own the bank, very few people know how money is created. It's created with a pen. It's not a created with a printing press, it's created with a pen. Every time you get a mortgage, wow, there's another chunk of money created. So since we own our own bank, in the future we will own our own bank. Uh, at 10 to 1, we can create money for local infrastructure projects. That creates 5 to $10 billion of revenue. This crazy insanity of the Ed Lee uh, road, road repair bond, you know, $250 million. He wants to borrow from the very banks that have been ripping everybody off. He wants us to pay $500 million for that $250 million, bucks, pay double the money for what? You know, if we had our own bank, we have our own money, we can fix our own roads, and we don't have to pay the damn interest to J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. So when I said regime change, I'm not kidding. Uh, it starts with a public banking system. It starts with the San Francisco Community um, Development Corporation that will take the San Francisco money and fund the businesses that need funding. You know, the problem with Twitter's deal was the kids needed $3 million to start a business. Did San Francisco pony up $3 million? No, they sent them down to Sand Hill Road. And what happened down on Sand Hill Road? Here comes the capital, venture capital people said, we want 30%, 40%, and we'll give you your $3 million. They started Twitter. 
Now they're worth what? Five, seven, twelve, fifteen billion dollars. You know, if San Francisco was intelligent and we funded our kids to start their own businesses and we asked for an equity as the angel funding on this, this is something our community development corporation can do. I want to close with the idea of muni. I'm not close with housing. Everybody who knows I want to do a, a brand new uh, a, 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 a road map for Muni. We need a Muni design for uh, 10, 20, 30, 50 years from now. Um, or we have seven systems designed to bring workers downtown to the businesses that left. The businesses are not coming back, but our Muni system is still set up that work that way. So we need a whole clean sheet approach so that we can get from one side of the city to the other quickly. There's no reason in a seven square mile, 49 square mile, seven by seven city, you can't get from one side to the other in 20 minutes. There's no excuse for that. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, let's start with housing for a second. I'm tired of the plantation business model in housing. You see a lot of that in, in, in San Francisco uh, with, a, with tenant and landlord relationships, all right? The worst slumlord in San Francisco is called the San Francisco Housing Authority. It's owned by the federal government. We need to seize the housing authority with eminent domain. We need to turn the housing authority into community-owned land trusts so people can get economic equity. These are words that I coined. Economic equity means we get a piece of the pie, not pie in the sky. I'm tired of pie in the sky bullshit. And you hear this stuff from all these other crooked politicians. And, and you know, well, you know, I, I'm not really, um, I like all the folks at City Hall, a lot of nice people, you know, but they all voted 11 to 0 to support a theft of property. $20 billion is being stolen from the people of California with the Treasure Island land theft. $20 billion, and I'm just going on a flat out lot and block uh, comparison of values from the waterfront on one side of, of, the, of the bay. You know, you go right across the ferry building to where the Treasure Island is, and let's go ahead and multiply the values out, and we're looking at $20 billion is being ripped off for a $110 billion graft and corruption deal. And who in the Democratic Party is speaking out against that? Not one person except yours truly. I'm the only candidate in this race up till a few days ago supporting Jeff Adachi's pension reform because I don't want to see the old people that worked and, and earned their pensions get ripped off when Ed Lee goes ahead and files bankruptcy. You know, Vallejo filed bankruptcy, they were a city. Orange County filed bankruptcy, they're a county. Ed Lee said he wasn't going to run for mayor. And guess what? He's in the race. He said he's not going to file bankruptcy. Guess what? It's filed. Now we can't do This is because we haven't taken care of, number one, our fisc putting our fiscal house in order. Can we do a closure? Oh, closure? All right. Dean asked me to close. Thanks for the one minute warning. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's give Dean a big hand. He's done a great service there. Um, so there's only two words that you really need to remember. I'll leave you with four of them, all right? The two words you need to remember are regime change. The name that you need to remember to cast as your first choice ballot is Paul Courier. Thank you. Thank you, Paul.